I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very important application of tangent ratios. The question is, find the acute angle formed by the line and the x-axis. So we are given a line here, that's the line L, and we need to find the acute angle, that means this angle, let's call this angle as, as let's say theta. So we need to find this angle which the line makes with the x-axis. So that is the basic question, right? Now, how are you going to find it? So to find this angle, what we can do is we can actually consider some good points on a line which can help us to form a right triangle and then we can use tan ratio, correct? So this x-intercept is a very good point which is at minus 4 and the y-intercept to is also a good point and the origin. So these three points could be used to find uh, the trigonometric ratio tan theta and from there we can find what theta is, right? So let me label these points as A, B, C, okay. So we have these points A, B, C on the, so A and B is on the line, C is the origin, but important part here is they form a right triangle. Now in this right triangle, we can find theta by finding the tan ratio. So that's a huge application of tan ratio. And uh, what is tan theta here? So we have tan theta, which is opposite side over adjacent, correct? Now in this particular case, opposite side is two units from zero to two, right? So we can say uh, two minus zero and the adjacent side is 0 minus minus 4. Let me write 0 minus minus 4, right? Because that reminds you of what? Rise over run, right? So I've purposely written like this. So it is 2 over 4, which is indeed equals to half. Now this is again a reminder to you that tan theta is equal to what? It is equals to, let me write in a different ink so that you remember, it. for a line it is rise over run, correct? and that is equal to m, the slope. Do you see that? So, so tan theta represents slope of a line. That is why they are so well connected. And actually, we started from here, if you remember, to understand what tangent is. Now, we will find the angle theta. So tan theta is half for us. So theta is equal to tan inverse of half, right? So we can use calculator to find this answer. So tan inverse of half, second function, tan inverse within bracket, we have 1 divided by 2, bracket close, equals 2. So we get an angle of 26.565, correct? Let us round it to one decimal place, so we get angle theta as 26.6 degrees. So that is how you can find the angle which the line makes, correct? Now, this is important to understand also that tan theta is equals to slope of a line, right? That's a good reminder. So tan theta is slope of the line. Rise over run is indeed the slope. And slope of this line is half, as you can see, right? And so we can relate tan theta, find the angle with the slope. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.